Photography is one of the greatest inventions man has ever made. Photography evolved from taking pictures to expressing oneself. It became an art and a vision. Photography became a love affair with life as we explore the world and create memories. Photography became very powerful as it became a tool of telling stories and conveying information to the world. Photography can tell us many things about the past, but it can also change the future. Photography can freeze time, hold memories, and keep valuable moments. Photos reminds us what humanity has achieved and what this world has to offer. Photography has become one of the most essential tool in human history. Let's take a look back as we discover the time it all started. When did photography started and how? Let the story begin. As early as 5th century BC, the concept of photography had been discovered. But it is until 11th century that the camera obscura or pinhole image was developed. The Latin name means dark chamber and was consisted of small darkened rooms with light admitted through a single tiny hole. The result was that an inverted image of the outside scene was cast on the opposite wall. This principle may have been known and used in ancient times to study astronomy and as aid for drawings. Portable versions were built followed by smaller and even packet models. The interior of the box was painted black and the image reflected by an angled mirror so that it could be viewed right side up. Essential factors that push the development of photography are discovered in the 13th century. Albertus Magnus discovered silver nitrate. Silver nitrate would later be used as a light sensitive material in the photographic emulsion on photographic glass plates and film. Then, George Fabricius discovered the silver chloride, later used to make photographic paper. And in 1614, Angelo Sala documented the effect of exposing silver nitrate to sunlight. He said that it would turn black as ink and also noted that paper wrapped around silver nitrate had turned black. In 1826, the first photograph was taken by a French inventor named Joseph Nicephore Nips. It records a view from the window at Le Gras. The exposure had to last for 8 hours, so the sun in the picture had to move from east to west, appearing to shine on both sides of the building in the picture. In 1833, Nip's experiment led to a collaboration with Louis Daguerre. The result was the creation of the Daguerreotype, a forerunner of modern film. The first ever picture to have human in it was Boulevard de Temple by Louis Daguerre, taken in 1838. The exposure lasted for about 7 to 10 minutes at the time. So it was barely possible for the camera to capture a person on the busy street. However, it did capture a man who had his shoes polished for long enough to appear in the photo. In 1839, John Herschel made the first glass negative, but this process was difficult to produce. In 1841, Slovene Janes Puhar 
invented the process for making photographs on glass. It was recognized on June 17, 1852 in Paris. In 1847, Nisifor Nips Cassin, the chemist Nips de Saint Victor, published his invention of a process for making glass plates with an albumen emulsion. In 1861, the first color photo was made. It was an image of a tartan ribbon and was taken by the famous Scottish physicist James Clerk Maxwell, who was famous for his work with electromagnetism. Despite the great influence his photograph had on the photo industry, Maxwell is rarely remembered for this, as his inventions in the field of physics simply overshadowed this accomplishment. In the 1870s, photography took another huge leap forward. Richard Maddox improved on a previous invention to make dry gelatin plates that were nearly equal to wet plates in speed and quality. These dry plates could be stored rather than made as needed. This allowed photographers much more freedom in taking photographs. The process also allowed for smaller cameras that could be handheld. As exposure times decreased, the first camera with mechanical shutter was developed. By 1880, portrait photographers began experimenting with color. They employed artists to tint photographers' daguerreotypes and calotypes by hand. In the 1880s, photography was only for professionals and the very rich until George Eastman started a company called Kodak. In 1885, George Eastman started manufacturing flexible paper-based photographic film that did not require constantly changing the solid plates. This allowed him to develop a self-contained box camera that held 100 film exposures. The camera had a small single lens with no focusing adjustment. The consumer would take pictures and send the camera back to the factory for the film to be developed and prints made, much like modern disposable cameras. In September 4, 1888, Eastman registered the trademark Kodak. In 1900, the Kodak Brownie was introduced, becoming the first commercial camera in the market available for middle-class buyers. The camera only took black and white shots but still was very popular due to its efficiency and ease of use. In 1936, the Agfa company in Germany created the Agfa Color Negative Positive Process. In 1942, Kodak released their negative positive color film, Kodak Color. Within 20 years after improvements in quality, speed and price, Kodak Color became the most popular film among amateur photographers. In the 1940s, the film was still large in comparison to today's 35mm film. It was not until the late 1940s that the 35mm film became cheap enough for the majority of consumers to use. In the 1950s, Asahi, which later became Pentax, introduced the Asahi Flex and Nikon introduced its Nikon F camera. These were both SLR type cameras and the Nikon F allowed for interchangeable lenses and other accessories. For the next 30 years, SLR type cameras remained the camera of choice. Many improvements were introduced to both the cameras and the film itself. The very first recorded attempt 
at building a digital camera was in 1975 by a man named Steven Sassoon who was an engineer at Eastman Kodak at the time. Photographs were made by exposing light-sensitive photographic film and paper which was then processed in liquid chemical solutions to develop and stabilize the image. Soon, compact cameras were developed that were capable of making image control decisions on their own. These point-and-shoot cameras calculated shutter speed, aperture, and focus, leaving photographers free to concentrate on compositions. The automatic cameras became immensely popular with casual photographers. Professionals and serious amateurs continued to prefer to make their own adjustments and enjoy the image control available with SLR cameras. By 1991, Kodak had produced the first digital camera that was advanced enough to be used successfully by professionals. Other manufacturers quickly followed. And today, Canon, Nikon, Pentax, and other manufacturers offer advanced digital SLR cameras. In 1999, Kyocera Corporation introduced the world's first mobile phone with built-in camera for recording videos and still photographs. In 2004, the first true mirrorless camera came from Epson. They released the RD1. This was a digital rangefinder camera with interchangeable lenses developed in partnership with Cosina. In 2006, the second camera to hit the mirrorless market was the Leica M8. The world of photography advanced since then with discoveries of other formats such as micro four thirds and full frame mirrorless cameras. The future is bright for photography as we are seeing the rise of the mirrorless technology for both enthusiasts and professionals. Although the death of DSLR is not happening in the near future, many experts say that we are at the tipping point where the mirrorless sales will start to overtake DSLRs. Firstly, in the consumer market and eventually in the pro market too. The technology in today's photography is mature the market is ready, mirrorless is here to stay, and photography will keep on getting better. Thank you guys for watching. Watch out for the coming episodes of our basic photography series. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to be updated on our latest releases. See you guys and God bless.